as you said earlier, there's going to be a total of nine games. You got your Street Fighter, your Tekken, Guilty Gear, Mortal Kombat. What is the process that you guys have um, in selecting these games, and why is it not kind of streamlined into, okay, you got 1A and 1B. These are the two main games with the most money, and this this is what we want to showcase. Why is it the multiple instead of like one or two? I think our approach there is we actually really do want to showcase the breadth of fighting games, and we want to showcase all the different flavors of fighting games. When you go in, you check out the Olympics, and you go check out track and field, it's not just the sprint race. It's not just the marathon. It's not the, let's, let's call those the more popular activities within that particular competition. Yeah. Shot put is in there. Long mm-hmm. jumps are in there. High jumps are in there. Hurdles are in there. Why do hurdles? There's already a bunch of other running competitions. But all of those different things together, all rooted in the same type of physical activity, showcase all the different ways that, as humans, we can compete out on a track and field. And so at Evo, we also want to show all the different ways, or at least all the different styles of competition that exist within fighting games. So yes, we have Street Fighter, one of the oldest and longest lasting 2D fighting games full of Hadoukens and Shoryukens and Ryus and Chun-Li's and things that have become popular culture. But we also have Tekken, because Tekken is an entirely different type of fighting game and that it's a 3D fighting game, but it's rooted in the same style of combat and that it's going to be about how you space characters, how you punish your opponent, how you set up and bait your opponent into situations you can capitalize on. A little bit of that uh, sweet science. We have those kind of two big tent poles at the show, but you already called out Guilty Gear, a game that is got a little bit of kind of where Street Fighter rooted, but has all kinds of aerial combat and these giant attacks and these eccentric characters and it is loud and it is in your face and that is an entire different flavor of that type of combat so we go and try to find as many of those different flavors as we can put into the show because we think that makes for a better show but more importantly we think that gives people who attend a better chance of leaving either appreciating fighting games or kind of falling in love with something new 